Tympanoplasty is a surgical procedure to repair a perforated tympanic membrane, commonly known as the eardrum. This procedure is vital in restoring hearing and preventing chronic infections in patients with middle ear disease. Let's start with the basics. The tympanic membrane is a thin layer that separates the outer ear from the middle ear. Its key functions include protecting the middle ear and transmitting sound vibrations to the ossicles, the tiny bones inside the ear. Damage to the tympanic membrane can occur from trauma, infection, or chronic otitis media, leading to hearing loss and recurrent infections. The main indications for tympanoplasty include chronic perforation of the tympanic membrane, often due to repeated infections, persistent conductive hearing loss after medical management, perforations caused by trauma, like a slap to the ear or loud sound blasts, and eustachian tube dysfunction leading to recurrent infections. Patients may present with hearing loss, discharge from the ear, or recurrent infections. It's important to assess the size and location of the perforation and any middle ear pathology before planning surgery. There are three key tympanoplasty techniques. The choice depends on the location and size of the perforation and the surgeon's experience. In the underlay technique, the graft is placed underneath the remaining tympanic membrane. It's commonly used for small to medium perforations. The graft material, often temporalis fascia, is placed under the perforation. This technique has high success rates and is generally preferred because it's less invasive and quicker to heal. In the overlay technique, the graft is placed over the existing tympanic membrane remnants. This is used for larger perforations or when the entire membrane is compromised. Though effective, it's technically more challenging and has a higher risk of complications like anterior blunting or lateralization of the graft. When the perforation is very large or the eardrum is significantly weakened, cartilage grafts may be used. This technique is excellent for cases where more structural support is needed, such as in cases of cholesteatoma or recurrent perforations. Cartilage is more rigid than fascia, providing stability, but may slightly affect the flexibility of the eardrum and sound conduction. The procedure generally involves these key steps. After making an incision behind or in front of the ear, the surgeon elevates the ear canal skin to access the perforated eardrum. The surgeon prepares the graft, often using the patient's own temporalis fascia or cartilage harvested near the ear. Depending on the technique, the graft is placed either under or over the remnants of the eardrum. A middle ear packing, like gel foam, might be used to hold the graft in place and ensure it adheres well. Once the graft is secured, the incision is closed, and the ear is dressed to protect it during the healing process. Post-surgery, patients are advised to avoid getting water into the ear and refrain from blowing their nose to avoid pressure changes in the ear canal. Antibiotics are often prescribed to prevent infections, and follow-up visits are crucial to monitor healing and hearing recovery. Most patients experience significant improvement in hearing, although some may still have minor deficits, particularly in cases of complex perforations or prior surgeries. Full healing takes about six to eight weeks, during which the graft integrates with the surrounding tissue. While tympanoplasty is highly successful, complications can occur, including failure of the graft to take, leading to persistent perforation, infection, hearing loss, often due to ossicular chain disruption, and tinnitus or dizziness, though these are rare. To summarize, tympanoplasty is an effective procedure to repair the eardrum and restore hearing. The choice of technique depends on the perforation size, location, and underlying pathology, with the underlay technique being the most common. With proper surgical planning and post-op care, the success rate is typically over 90%. Remember, careful patient selection and understanding of the anatomy and the right surgical technique are keys to success.